yes, he has been you know, quite injury prone, but I don't think many would argue with the fact that when he has played and he has had some periods of where he strung games together and he drastically improves that City defence. And yes, you made the point that that City defence isn't all that. But I think if anything, it's, it's more sign of how good somebody is when they come in and improve that defence rather than how bad everybody else is. Mm-hmm. And I'm not disagreeing. Again, you, you raise good points. They won the World Cup. They got the European final. He's obviously doing things well, very well, the Champs. But it doesn't mean that you can't improve on that. And it doesn't mean that um, Laporte, we're saying, needs to be in that squad. He should be starting every game. Why is he picking these players? Varane is world-class. Kimpembe, Clement Longley, and Tiki, no. I, I'm, I'm not sure I agree with, with that as much. But yeah, it's not to say that the question I think we're asking is, or Spoon is asking, is why is he not even being considered? Why is he not in the conversation? You're looking at players like Sacco, Kurt Zuma, he should be in that squad. Yes, maybe not this season because he's only played one game, but over the last couple of years from his days in Bilbao um, and it, the earlier parts of Man City, even if he's just coming on as subs or playing the odd game, the fact that he's not even being selected is bizarre. Uh, again, it's another bizarre one. 